Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Kotamara and I'm Aradanara's mother. Assalamualaikum mama. Waalaikumsalam Arad. Hello. Hello. And he is second grade at elementary school and I do so apologize because I have to use his YouTube channel because I want to celebrate the third Gebia Literasi SD Muhammadiyah Sapen and I want to join the read aloud competition for parents and teachers. Are you ready for a story? Yes, I'm so excited. So today we are going to read a story about a bunny who didn't want to go to sleep. You may read this story, just borrow this ebook from Digital Smart Library Seven. So if you like it, you just left comment or share this video or maybe you can give a thumb. And before we start to read the story, just watch the bridging time of my son. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Aradanara music games so much fun. A bunny who didn't want to go to sleep. Written and illustrated by Arlene and Melanie C. Published by BIP Buana Ilmu Popular. One nice spring evening, the moon was smiling warmly and all animals were getting ready for bed. All except one little bunny who was not ready for bed. You see, the little bunny had just had a very nice day. Her grandmother came to visit with her cousins and she spent the whole day taking them to places that she liked to go. She had so much fun and she didn't want the fun to end yet. Mom, can I take my cousins to the small creek? I want to show them my favorite mushroom ring, she asked the mother. Tomorrow, dear, can you see that your cousins were tired and sleepy, answered her mother. Sure enough, all her cousins were yawning, and soon they curled to sleep, but the spirited little bunny didn't want to sleep yet. She had such a great day, and she didn't want it to end. She went outside to talk to the moon. She told the moon about the wonderful cousins. The moon smiled. Oh, go to sleep, little bunny, said the moon. No, I don't want to sleep, said the bunny. Then she went to see the frogs. She sang with them. She sang about her wonderful grandmother. Quack, 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 quack. Go to sleep, little bunny said the fox. No, I don't want to sleep, said the bunny. Then she went to see the bats. While swinging with the bats, she talked about all the games that her cousins and she played. Go to sleep, little bunny, said the bats. No, I don't want to sleep, said the bunny. Then she went to the see the crickets. She talked about all the places that she went to with her cousins. Go to sleep, little bunny, said the crickets. No, I don't want to sleep, said the bunny. By that time, the bunny was tired of being asked to sleep. So she went to see the wisest animal of all the owl. Hi, Mr. Owl. I don't want to sleep, but everybody asked me to sleep, she said. And when the owl asked her why she didn't want to sleep, the bunny told him about all the exciting things that she did that day. I don't want today to end, she said. Yes, sometimes if I have an exciting night, I also don't want to sleep during the day, said the owl. The bunny smiled. Finally, there was someone who understood her. 
But then I realized that tomorrow might even be more exciting than today. And I won't know until tomorrow comes. And tomorrow will come faster if I sleep, continued the owl. You must have more exciting places and games. Can you tell me about them? Asked the owl. The bunny's eyes light up. Then she talked about all the games she just thought about that she couldn't wait to teach her cousins. Then she talked about all the nice places that she didn't get the chance to take her cousins today. I will have to bring them there tomorrow. Yes, you definitely have to. And now you know how to make tomorrow come faster, said the owl. The bunny smiled and left for home. On the way home, she told the crickets, the bats, the frogs, and the moon that she was going home to sleep. They all wished her sweet dreams. When the bunny reached home, she saw all her cousins were sleeping. Tomorrow, I'll teach you new games to play and I'll take you to more nice places. And then she snuggled up in the bed and slept to make tomorrow came faster. And the point of this story is every day is beautiful if you choose to see it. Do everything you want to do wisely and happily, right? Yes. Okay, well, this is a read loud story. Thank you for watching Can this video. Some literacy. Bye-bye.